I have a bigger appreciation for farmers now. Because of this show, I'm interested in farming. Okay, let's talk about my it's one of my new favorite shows on Amazon Prime. It's uh, Clarkson's Farm. It's got like three seasons. Each season's got like eight episodes. I just finished watching the third season. So uh, when the first when the show first came up, I wasn't actually doing this. So now I'm doing this. So I felt like I should talk about it because I really love this show. I really love it. I wish it was all year. Now I got to wait another year for it to come back again. It's going to be a long wait. So the show basically is about Jeremy Clarkson. You know, you know, Jeremy Clarkson from Top Gear, the Grand Tour, great motorist enthusiast. So he's got this show where he He's bought a piece of land, a farm, and he's trying to farm it. He's got a, a band of great, great men and great and a lady. He's got his girlfriend Lisa, Caleb, Charlie. He's got Gerald, and these guys work on his farm. He does a variety of businesses in order to make money for the farm. The show's idea is to shed light on the, some of the difficulties farmers deal with on a day-to-day basis. And you listen to the show, you watch the show, and you find how much it's expensive, bro. It's really expensive to grow crops. It's really expensive to rear animals and stuff like that and you find out sometimes the animals die the crops are basically useless they don't make money or the amount of money you anticipated or thought they were gonna make you grow a whole hectare several hectares of with wheat and all that and it rains and it messes it up and you can't use it for shit so it's really it's a really demanding hard thing to do and then you realize Clarkson is doing it on several incomes dude's got the show on Amazon which means he's getting paid for doing it so basically whether he makes money or not the show will give him money that's a positive but when you think about the average farmer the guy who's not gonna have a show that's gonna be showing on Amazon the guy who's not gonna be who's solely making money off his farming that's when you realize this is hard it's entertaining as fuck it's really entertaining. You you watch his struggles. Then you see him cry over the, the loss of a pig dying, piglets dying because the pigs are squishing or smushing the piglets. And then he designs this little cool Clarkson's ring thing and he saves a couple of piglets from being squashed by their mothers. He's got goats, he's got cows, and then Pepper, the cow that didn't, you know, if you follow the show, it's really weird. The Pepper, the, the cow that couldn't give birth, uh, that I thought was murdered, ends up getting sold and he ends up you know getting in a child and stuff like that it's just it's an overall wholesome great show with the first season i think he, he was starting out great and then second season he had a whole war with the council about him trying to build a restaurant and there was a whole issues with uh, permissions and patents and whatnot and he finally got through the season he got a, some approval after an inspector showed up and said now nah, you could do all this shit but he can't do a restaurant but he's got a little burg- burger joint that he's using with the beef that the farm is making and all that and he's got pigs that are he's selling so he's doing a lot with a lot of produce he's making jams he's, he's got honey honey farming uh, his girlfriend lisa's running a diddly squat farm shop his farm is called diddly diddly squat so it's, it's a really brilliant show and if you're remotely into farming or remotely just love Clarkson, I think you're going to enjoy this show. You're really going to. Each episode is averaging about 48 to 50 minutes. Like I said, it's got three seasons. Um, each season has about eight episodes. So it's really worth your time. I don't know how to spice this up. Usually when I give reviews, I give a lot of negativities. But with this one, it's like watching Natural Wild. I don't see the negativities. It's great. If you like hunting, there's even a bit where Jeremy's hunting deer. And you know Jeremy is bound to screw up. I don't know. That's the entertaining factor. I love the relationship between him and Caleb. There's a lot of banter there. It reminds me of the Top Gear years. But this time it's about cows and wheat and growing crops. And it's really good. If you have not seen Clarkson's farm, go watch it. I I honestly believe from the bottom of my heart you will enjoy this show. It's really great, man. It's really, really, really great. I I don't know even what's going on out with me i usually don't big up shows without you know being too critical as i've been told uh someone in the comment section was like dude you, you're too critical and whatnot sometimes you gotta enjoy a film like that whatever bro but with this one i got nothing negative to say which is astonishing on its own i don't know why i have nothing negative to say i can't find fault in it because it's showing itself yes uh, you could say Jeremy wastes money with all the expensive shit he does a mockery. Dude couldn't even build a dam. I don't know. He's entertaining, fam. And it shows the struggles when you think about them. Farming is hard and this guy just, he's found a way to make farming interesting. To make me, I'm interested in farming just because of this show. I, I personally wouldn't be farming, but because of this show, it's given me interest 
in farming. I'm really interested in farming now. First, I got to get land, but I'm still interested in it. I don't know. He's done something to me. And the whole show, Caleb is like, he needs to get more young farmers he was talking with the british prime minister about this you know getting more young people interested in farming and i'm really i'm 28 and i'm interested in farming i don't know i'm old caleb like 25 26 let's be frank man before the show i was not remotely interested in farming but after watching this show i really i really love this show now of course unlike everybody else i discovered the show this year so I watched the first and second season this year and then I waited for the third season and now I'm here. So there are some people who've been watching this a while back. So it's truly interesting. Now I have to wait a whole bloody year for the next season to come. I'm very pissed. I'm very pissed. I want to watch more of it. Like a lot more of it. I wish they did this weekly and shit. I, I think they'd... I don't know. Th this is very rare. This is very rare for me to be like... This is too little. I need more episodes after watching the show. It's very rare, but that's how I feel. I feel like I should watch more of this. The show is great. It, they've got struggles, employees getting sick. You gotta, Gerald had cancer and he got, he fought through it and won it. But when you think about it, an average farm will hire a lot of people, a few people that will show up. Imagine if one of your workers got sick for a while and you couldn't do shit. That's the difficult part. What are you going to do? Hire new help? And what about that guy? He's got a family to feed. And then when you think about the whole farming world, how they rallied behind Clarkson and his famism in a way. Some of them are now selling some of their products within his, uh, with Diddley Squat shop, which is great. That means some of the farmers around Jeremy Clarkson are making money off the show as well. I don't know if he, he's paying people per an appearance, but I, I mean, like everyone who's involved in this has to be making money because this is really good. Look at this. If you're remotely not interested in farming, go watch the show. I guarantee it. I put money on it. I guarantee it. After watching this, you'll be slightly, if not like, really impressed with farming and it's taken a guy who's a car enthusiast it's taken a guy who's not a farmer who's a f total screw up everything this guy does in his farm or in his show he messes it up and you got caleb who's who messes up shit too and then charlie's like the anchor he's like uh, the health inspector he's the the accountant he's the guy who's ruining the fun whenever we're having fun i'm enjoying an episode in comes charlie with bad news and you can't do that you can't do that and I didn't even know. There's so many fucking restrictions, fam. How is it fair that you own the land? But why does a council have say on what you do on your land? That's weird. I didn't know that. I just assumed if you own land, you've got all the title deeds and whatnot. You could do whatever the fuck you wanted. But apparently you can't. You can't do whatever you want because you own land. You can't. There's permits and shit for everything. That's preposterous. And, and then when you think about... I'm farming certain things. You can't just produce damn because you got berries. You can't do that. There's testing. There's a whole bunch of shit. And there's the approval. You have to test, explain how you're doing things. I just assumed if you have berries, if you have wheat, if you have whatever you got, you could just, you know, put it in sacks and sell it. But no, there's a whole variety of health inspections and let's see if it's good for people consumption and shit and luckily there's a whole backup if if your shit is not good for people's consumptions whether it's wheat making pasta uh, barley for for baking beer if it's not good enough you can always turn it into food for for animals but it's making less than it should have so there's always a little way of making money but imagine just imagine for one second that was all your income and half of the shit is gone because it fucking rained because it got windy and on top of that the prices of products the prices of wheat the prices of anything that you remotely trying to sell fluctuates you have no control of it you can literally buy fertilizers now and then grow whatever you're growing and then after uh after harvesting and whatnot the price that you initially calculated after applying this particular hectare this particular field i should make let's just assume i should make thirty thousand. i only come back and you're like they've changed the price of wheat now it's cheaper so you're gonna make ten thousand and you're like oh my god what the fuck very stressful being a farmer but nonetheless this show has made me interested in farming now what's next for me is acquiring some land and Possibly learning how to farm. I don't know how long that's going to take. I'm 28 right now. It could take me 10, 20 years. Who knows? But this show has really done it for me. It's really done it for me. And I think anyone who's remotely interested in watching any of my stuff. Who's remotely interested in anything. Go watch this show. 
I guarantee if you watch Clarkson's show, you will have some sort of adoration, some sort of appreciation for the food that you have on the table, for the food that you see at the farmer's market, for the food that you see at your grocery store. I think you'll, he'll be like appreciative of a local farmer. You know, they always say support local businesses, support local farmers and stuff, buy their eggs and stuff like that. But after watching this show and knowing how difficult it is to, to put anything, to produce anything, whether it's chickens, goats, cows, crops, it's fucking hard work. So many things can go wrong and mess up your bottom line within a matter of seconds. Fact. Your crops, you're growing crops and it fucking rains and it's ruined. Ruined. Just like that. I have a bigger appreciation for farmers now. Because of this show, I appreciate farmers now. I, I really love you guys. If, if a farmer comes across this, I, I, I love you and I appreciate you. Do not quit no matter how hard it gets. Keep working hard. And I now have a huge appreciation for you. So do all that. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Remember to hit that like and sub button. Uh, this has been my joyful and praiseful review of Clarkson's Farm. Let's hang out there another time, folks. Adios. I've, I've, uh, what's that other guy's name? Gerald, right? Uh, the mother's, or, I don't know, what do you call a, the pig? Each episode, each season has about, is it eight or nine? Uh, now that was entertaining. Please let us hang out yet another time. Remember to like and subscribe. Adios, folks. Adios.